Good day. Welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm here with Amy and with Kimberly. And today we are ministering to ten people. And I got these ten names of the list of last Monday when we ministered. There was a list of seventy people that put their names on the list. We ministered to the first 40, and so there were still 30 names left over that we didn't minister to. And so I uh, went Thursday afternoon, I looked through all the videos, and not a lot of people put their names in the comments. So I took that list of 30 people, and we said, okay, let's minister uh, Thursday and Friday and Saturday to those 30 people, 10, 10, 10. Okay, and so this is now the, the third session. And so today, uh, we're going to start and we're going to minister first to Marcel, okay? Uh, so Marcel, what the Lord shows me, He shows me a new door, a new point of entry, a new opening, a new opportunity that He is giving to you. But it's interesting how it looked to me because it's the same thing that you always did and you always used to come in in one way. But now the Lord is making a new way for you. And I felt that the Lord says he's going to use the skills uh, and the strengths that's in your life. He's going to use the giftings, but uh, you in a different position. You know, if you, you can wear one uniform for one position, you can wear a different uniform for another position. And so the Lord says uh, it's it's not necessarily a promotion or a demotion. It's just a different a version of the same thing but on the old way you kind of reach the top of where you could go but on the new with the new place that the lord is giving to you it's the bottom step of a long ladder where you can go up again and so the lord is uh, setting you up for future promotion god bless you Marcel, God loves you very much. I really feel how the Lord um, is really called you to be like, um, while well, praying for you, I saw a picture of like a zookeeper, a guy that's in charge of making sure all the animals are fed and okay. And I just feel how the Lord says um, that you are such an amazing steward with things. And I just feel how the Lord says that I'm going to bring increases um, the things that you've been trusting the Lord for and praying for. God is going to bring breakthrough for that. And I, and I feel like the Lord says that that I'm giving you the training that you need right now um, for what you've been trusting for and the desires that God has placed in your heart. Then lastly, there's such a breakthrough and anointing in your life for family. God is really bringing breakthroughs um, and unity to your family. And God is just, I just feel there's a lot of, um, there's just, you just have an anointing to pray over families. God loves you. God bless you. Emma, myself, please leave us a comment this next word. This is Zoe. Zoe, the Lord shows me how he's just lifting up your head. How he is bringing you up from a dark place, a place that that was very, very low, and how he's just lifting you up, almost like like your head was like underwater and and you and you couldn't breathe, and he's taking you out of this water. And I see how you are like taking your first breath, like like a baptism, like a rebirth, like rebirthing, being born again. That you are taking a new breath today as a, a new creation and that that is what the lord wants for you for you to take that breath and know that that you are walking you're not walking in the old ways the old ways were cut off once you became born again once you were baptized it was cut off so the lord is saying walk in that in in that born again steps knowing that that is who you are now you are not what you were hey zoe god bless you his hand is upon your life Okay, so if it's Shuku, uh, I see two screens and the one is giving you information and the other one is giving you other information. The one set of information is the old traditional way, but I see a lot of that is toxic. Then I see the new way, the, the godly way, the organic way, uh, the, the new technology that the Lord is releasing out of heaven. And so now I see you have to study this old one to get the certificate, but you're going to use the new one so that you can really help people and heal people. And so I just see these two screens. And so I found that the Lord says that you're actually busy studying two courses at the same time. The one is to get your certificate. The other one is to really help people. And so the Lord is going to give you the wisdom. He's going to put you in contact with the right people. And the Lord says, I'm making you a leader that's going to show uh, other people, even in your uh, different areas of industry, that this is the godly way to help people. God bless you. 
may God bless you for sure. God loves you. This next word is for Tony. Tony, the Lord loves you and God is really healing you right now in the name of Jesus. It's like, it's like the, um, you know, um, people that play sports and I, I, it was like you hurt your leg, but I just feel the Lord really like took you out of the game and he completely healed you and says you're ready to go out there. But I first want to just like heal you completely and then you're going to go out. Um, and then Tony, I, I just feel how the Lord is really, um, I just, I just really feel in my heart that God is bringing so much, um, just pouring out His love to you, and it's like he, there's, it's like He's giving you a pencil and a paper, and you're just writing and writing what God is telling you. And then I still have the Lord place His hands over your eyes, um, because you really need wisdom right now for people you work with in business. Um, I don't know if it's clients or also relationships or people that you work with in ministry. Um, but I just feel how the Lord is really, um, giving you such a um he's really making you sharp and the holy spirit's really speaking to you to tell you work with this person don't work with that person this person's called a sign to be in your life this person is not i just feel the holy spirit's giving you a lot of wisdom for who is the people god has placed in your circle right now and you'd be surprised there's a few of them that you wouldn't expect um that's supposed to be in your circle but god is placed there too for a reason um for your character and for your growth god loves you so much god bless you Amen, Tony. Everyone loves to get the word, the Lord is building your character. So, <laughs> uh, be blessed. <laughs> Definitely receive that word. This next word is for Evelyn. Evelyn, I hear the Lord saying, do not give up. Continue to press in in these next, in these next couple months. Don't give up. Don't hold back. Do, don't stop feeding this fire. Because I, I hear the Lord saying that you are in the final stretch. Keep going. And I hear the word saying your rest is waiting for you. And I hear this is going to be physical rest where you take time that you can sleep in and, and, and take care of yourself. But I hear right now the Lord is saying continue. Keep keep pressing in. He is with you. He is going to, he is giving you more power. When you draw from him, you re receive that 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 power to continue to take that step forward. Like when, when runners run or when, when power power lifters when they lift they 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 have to use they have to engage their whole body and use power when they when they when they take their first step as running and that's what the lord's saying move in power be blessed yeah evelyn i see you had a massive call you were operating in it and then you took a little bit of a break from it and i just felt that the lord says take on that call mm -hmm. get back into it you know sometimes you hear about someone they retired for two years and then i just got hired again and it's because of their experience and their knowledge and the skills that they have and then uh, people approach them and i got the job again and i just felt that the lord says you got the job again god bless you evelyn okay so the next word is for dio dio the lord shows me a 400 meter dash and in a 400 meter dash you run your first uh, 400 meters on around that track and you try to position yourself then in your second uh, 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 time around, you need to try try to improve your position if you need to, but you cannot lose your position. Then the third one is, is very, very tough because now you need to start to push. And then the fourth one, you're supposed to go the fastest. And I felt that the Lord says that even this year is a 400 meter dash in your life. And this is the time where you're going to pray the hardest, where you're going to push, you're going to give everything. You're going to uh, dedicate your time to the Lord, to the things that God is doing. This is this is a time really to walk in the anointing of God. And I see like that flame of fire that was on Acts chapter 2, that was on people's heads, how the Lord puts that, uh, 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 that fire upon your head. I also felt that the Lord says this next time in the year is the time of preparation for the next year. So you have like a double job. Your first job is to run faster than you've been running the whole year. Your second job is to get everything in order for next year. And I felt that the Lord says, don't wait till it's too late. You have to start right now to get everything in order for next year. And the Lord says, you're going to need stuff. You're going to need uniform. You're going to need um, transport. You're going to need, um, I, I, I don't know, a desk, a table, uh, things, all kinds of things. And I just felt that the Lord says, do not fear. I'm going to provide in each one of your needs. God bless you. Amen, Dale. 
God loves you. That was so powerful. And just while praying for you, I just saw how it was a weird picture. I saw your ears were like glowing. It was like they were on on fire. Uh, I'm mean, in a good way. And I just feel the Lord is really speaking to you in this time, and He's like filling you up with His fire from His words. And that, that's how the, those are the words you're going to speak. God loves you, Dale. God bless you. This next word is for Mary. Mary Jane, God loves you very much. And I just see how the Lord is wrapping you around in white linen. And it's like there was this like this very big cloud above your head. But the cloud kind of got, um, you know, when clouds start to get heavy, they get darker and darker and bigger and bigger. But this was a pretty good cloud. It was, it was God's rain upon your life, but it was just above your head. It was getting big, bigger. And you were like, like, Lord, when is it going to rain? And I just see the moment you, you went on your knees and you humbled yourself and you say, God, I love you. I receive your rain. And then it just rain, rained. And then I just saw a lot of things that you've been trusting the Lord for. Seeds, prayers. I just saw how the Lord rained down on that and it really brought favor and so much breakthrough that you need it so I just feel the Lord says um, through your worship through your your times with me when you're when you're worshiping or, or when you you're, you're in my word I'm going to really especially when you're like you really kneel down before God God's rain is gonna pour upon you and there's gonna be breakthrough God loves you Mary Jane you're so special to God God bless you Emma Mary Jane please leave us a comment next word is for Caroline um, Smith the Lord shows me he says, "Do not believe the lies of the enemy." The Lord shows me, um, um, it's like a, it's like a movie of you on your, on your knees, and then how these, these words were written on, the, on these pieces of fabric, and they, and they were sitting right in front of you, and, and the Lord shows me how, how you take one of them, and then you hold them up, and, and, and you say, "This is, this does not define me. These, these words are lies," and I see how those, those ribbons just change into gold and how you just start to dance with them. What the enemy meant for evil, the Lord is going to turn it for good. And I see how how as you as you worship and dance with those with with those with with those now golden golden ribbons, there is so so much anointing because because you are releasing what what the enemy tried to put in you. You release it. You don't even receive it. And but you do receive the light and the love of the Lord. And that is your worship unto Him. Be blessed. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Carolina. Uh, Carolina, just when I was praying for you, uh, the Lord was also showing to me how the Lord supernaturally provide for you. And so I see the one way you had provision is someone give to you, but they control you. But the second one was you earn and it's through the gifting that you have, but the, you're not being controlled and manipulated. And I just felt that the Lord is going to bring about that shift. So the enemy cannot control and manipulate you, but you're going to use the giftings, the talents that God has given to you, and you're going to earn where you are, what you're doing, and the blessing of God is going to be mightily upon you. The Lord loves you very, very much, and you're favored. And I think there's thoughts that come sometimes in your mind that says, I'm not good enough. But I felt that the Lord says, oh, maybe you just think, uh, lower of yourself than the Lord wants you to think of yourself. And the Lord says, think higher, because I have a higher call upon your life. God bless you, Carolina. Okay, so the next word is Ketsi. Uh, Ketsia. So Ketsia, the Lord gave, showed me three stages. Stage number one, healing, restoration. Stage number two, worship, leading worship, flowing in worship, bringing revival through worship. Stage number three is evangelism, leading people to the Lord, healing people through the power of God, preaching the word of God, being a Nathaniel, calling people into the congregation and into the church of God. And so the Lord says, now is the time to speed up the healing process. Forgive, release, let go, cut off, get baptized in water if you need to get again, get filled with water, uh, the Holy Spirit again. If you need to lie in the, in the river of God, lie in the river of God, because the Lord says, I'm activating now the worship phase in your life. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. This next word is for Natalia. Am I saying it right? Okay, awesome. This next word is for Natalia. Um, Natalia, God loves you so much. And I just saw a picture of um, 
nurturing compassion and healing that God has called you and it was like um, you've been trying to like toughen up and actually even change yourself um, because it's it's like you feel like okay I gotta change I gotta grow but I just feel the Lord says um, don't focus so much on like trying to change yourself focus on coming closer to God and your relationship with him and then you're going to see a lot of things in your character a lot of things in your life is going to change and and you know um, and this is for me too we like watch so social media and we listen to people and it's like always so much information and it overwhelms us everything even like when you go to the soup to the mark soup um, to the grocery store and you see like all these ads everything everywhere and the colors and you know it, it actually just it overwhelms us um, and, and and it's and it's um and it's just for marketing purposes but the, the thing is um, I just feel the Lord says don't be overwhelmed or search for what you're looking for in the world come to me and all the changes that you want to make all the things that you know that needs to happen the Lord says I will be with you I love you so much there is such a prophetic anointing upon your life there's an anointing for you to move for the power of the Holy Spirit I don't know if you're baptized with the Holy Spirit but I really want to encourage you um, ask someone to pray for you for the baptism of the Holy Spirit so you can just get refilled again um, and that you can just receive like new oil for your lampstand God loves you and he wants to give you new oil he wants to refresh you and he has such a plan for you God loves you God bless you Okay, awesome Natalia, God loves you, His hand is upon your life, Oasa family, it is today, Saturday, and so we've ministered now on Thursday and Friday and Saturday to the names of people that I got off the list of Monday evening's ministry, so I'm going to sit now tomorrow afternoon and I'm just going to go through these last three or four videos. I'm going to see uh, who put their names in the comments. Who would like to receive ministry. And then we're going to do our Sunday list again. So I want to encourage you. If you would like to receive ministry. Just write your name in the comments. And we would love to minister the word of the Lord to you. If you are new to Unity with Heaven or Unity Prophetic Ministry, please subscribe. You'll see I actually have uh, more than one channel. Please go to all of them and subscribe to each one. I'll really appreciate that. And then if you want to support Unity with Heaven, you'll see there is a, a button that says PayPal. You can click on it and you can give. We love you. Have a fantastic day. God bless you.